name is Natalie Velsky. I am a faculty fellow in the fall of 2018 at the Institute for Advanced Study. Uh, my permanent um, position is a, as a historian, as an assistant professor of history at the University of Minnesota Duluth, where I specialize in uh, modern Europe and specifically Russia, Russian history. So the specific project that I'm working on is uh, a project that is my current is, is my current manuscript in progress that builds off of research um, that I did for my dissertation in grad school, and it looks at population displacement, specifically evacuation, um, in the Soviet Union during the Second World War. Um, but it actually focuses, you know, most of our attention is dedicated to the front um, and, and the tragic um, losses, uh, military losses and, and, and military victories during the war. Um, I'm actually looking at the home front. I'm actually looking behind, behind the front lines, actually way behind the front lines. Um, in, the, uh, in, the, in the wake of the war, millions of Soviet citizens were evacuated from places like Ukraine, Belarus, and Western Russia. Um, and uh, resettled uh, for the duration of the war um, in what I refer to alternatively as the Soviet interior or the home front or the hinterland. Um, there's a lot of different terms, basically relatively vague terms, uh, because it's a really actually huge geography. If anyone's looked at the map of Russia or the Soviet Union, it's a really big place. So people were resettled to Central Asia, particularly Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. Those were really important places as well as um, the Ural Mountain region and Siberia. Um, so people were resettled in this vast geography. Um, and very basically what my research looks like, uh, my, what my pr research looks at is what happened when they got there. Um, what were their lives like? How were they? How did they adapt to these new places where they were living over the course of the war? Specifically, how did they interact with the local populations that they were living that they were living among and living with? Um, were there tensions? Uh, what kind of tensions? How did people find ways to get along? What kinds of new opportunities and spaces and uh, projects? Uh, emerged out of the fact that you had these millions of people um, coming to uh, these new areas and adjusting to this to life in these new areas and interacting with new groups of people and, and, um, and creating and working and surviving um, basically because uh, most evacuees were resettled for um, two to four years basically for the duration of the war so it's not a, it's not a huge amount of time but I argue that it's not an ins it's certainly not an insignificant amount of time um, and I also look to some extent at how people talk about their stories from that moment and how they think about their experience and what they remember and what they don't remember um, I think offers us a lot of insight um, I think this project is, well, obviously, I've been working on it forever, so I think it's interesting, um, and I do think that it answers some questions. It, it, helps, us, it helps us learn about um, a period that, uh, or learn about um, a set of stories that we haven't, that historians in general um, haven't, um, haven't written or haven't talked much about. Um, but I think more broadly, um, especially in the wake of the moment where we are now, it raises some really important questions and discussions about um, displacement and belonging and home and what are the implications and what are the stakes of some of those issues and questions um, where, where you know, we're living in a moment where the refugee crises are unfortunately still a fact of life on this planet um, and this discussion of who belongs where and why um, and who has power and agency in specific places remains um, ha has been and remains to be it remains it remains um, and I think will be in the future really important um, I'm, I'm really excited and um, thrilled to be in this kind of interdisciplinary environment, largely because I've spent a lot of time in an 
disciplinary single disciplinary environment right i'm i'm class i'm, I'm trained as a historian um most of the people that i've shared my work with and had discussions about my work have been historians um, and those conversations have been really fruitful um and important obviously and I, and I like my discipline so i'm not changing but um the point where i am with my project is that i have thought a lot about the trees and I've studied the trees a lot and there's a lot left to learn but I feel like I have a, a relatively good grasp on what happened and what kind of stories I want to tell and what kind of um, trajectories uh, you know historical what, what's a historical narrative and what are the individual kind of pieces of that but what I feel I'm missing is the sort of big picture because I do feel like I have this little in the grand scheme of things, this little story that, um, sure, it may be interesting and fascinating to some people who are not in this field or who are not historians, um, but largely it's this kind of niche story. Um, and what I really hope to get out of this, and I think I will get out of this, is sharing um, and learning from, sharing with and learning from uh, fellows in other disciplines. Um, I think will help me think about how this fits in into some bigger picture discussions and how I can, um, um, how the story may inform um, other conversations that I haven't been previously a part of because um, I'm not part of those disciplines. Um, and how this, this story can help us think about um, the problems created by war and displacement specifically in broader terms because what struck me is, as I was working on this project was that, you know, yes, a lot of my conclusions are relevant to specifically the field of Soviet history, um, and again, like in the niche field that I work in, but there has to be a way to think about this more broadly, largely because of the moment that we're living in, right? The, 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 the so post-Soviet space continues to experience displacement, um, and people, uh, there's, there's a lot of immigrants kind of moving, moving back um, from the post-Soviet post periphery, so to speak, into Russia for economic opportunities. That's creating um, tensions and conflicts. Um, obviously, there's stuff going on around, around the world, but I felt like I didn't have the tools to enter into that debate and that discussion in a sophisticated, informed way. Because I had this, this story, and then I thought, well, you know, what can I say to the people who are working on this other topic, on these other topics that are potentially more contemporary, um, and how can that be useful to both me and to them? And that's, that's uh, why I'm, I'm really, um, I, find, I find this framework really interesting.